whilst inside a poyak, try gusting it to spit Toko into the air. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Hello, and welcome to Lost Winds. This is a fairly old game. I believe it came out about 10 years ago, judging from a few little videos I saw on YouTube. But I picked it up recently on Steam. It just, it looks super cute. It reminds me, especially these trees, it reminds me of Tomba for the PS1. Which I have very fond memories of playing. I only had the demo though. It's a shame. I would love to play the actual game. I wonder if that's on Steam actually. Anyway, quick description. Take the power of the wind into the palm of your hand and guide Toku and Enril through a magical award-winning adventure to lift the curse placed on Minstralis by the evil spirit Balasar. Visit a land full of wonder and use playful controls to smash enemies, solve puzzles and explore in this classic adventure. It all sounds very interesting. I really do like, I like puzzles, I like adventuring, and I like exploring. So this ticks all the boxes, and it looks really cute. So, let's jump in. Oh, wake up. There we go. Use A and D or arrows to move Toko around. Easy enough. I do like games that use the intro as like the menu for when you start the game. It's pretty cool. I like how everything's inter like you can interact with everything. The trees or the bushes. Can I jump? Uh oh. Hmm, okay. Is this a pebble? Oh, it's a big pebble. A magic one. Oh, it talks. At last, you have found me. Please, don't be afraid, young one. My name is Enro, the Wind Spirit. I've been trying to get your attention for some time. Didn't you notice when I tried to wake you up? Well, never mind that, little one. There's not much time, and I have so much I have to tell you. You're probably wondering how a spirit like me ended up like this. Let me tell you how things came to be. I'd like to know how you're talking as well, considering stones have no lips. Many years ago, the ancients called upon a spirit to create this island, Mistralis. Mistralis. Mistralis? Mistralis sounds good. Sounds like a teacher. Hello, Mistralis. A spirit named Balasar abused this power and sought to rule over Mistralis itself as a god. Oh, you're making them cry. Oh. Yeah, that would explain the tears. For this treachery, we forged a spirit stone. Okay. On the top of that. See, that's a really big stone. If that's what they're making. And he's in a really small one at the moment. Its sole purpose was to seal Balasar within it forever, so he could do no more harm. He looks like a big sock puppet. <laughs> Capture that sock puppet. Balasar fought against us and the power of the spirit stone. I oh, know he actually killed someone. Is that his mouth? He's got two mouths. I thought that was his head. For a time, it seemed as though it would not be enough to trap him. 
Using the last of my power, I summoned a furious tornado to enshroud Balasar. He ripping his head off. Look at that. This was enough to weaken him, allowing the spirit stone to take hold. However, in doing so, I was too I was I too was dragged into the spirit stone with him. Apologies for my bad reading. Over the centuries, Balasar's anger twisted him into something far more terrifying. An even bigger sock puppet. I tried to calm his rage, but still Balasar's power grew until he was finally able to weaken the stone. Chipping away bit by bit. With his new power, Balasar finally managed to shatter the stone. This unleashed an immense power that scattered both the stone and the spirit of Balasar across Mistralis. Oh, they ripped the sock puppet up. One, two, three, four, seven parts. Is that in the woods? The hills, maybe? In the sky? In the lakes? A couple of other pieces. It reminds me a lot of like an intro to Zelda with all this artwork. It's very cool. Unfortunately, I remained trapped within the fragments of the stone whilst Balasar was set free. Frag oh, so that's only a fragment. Okay. I can feel Balasar's power growing all around. I feel it is only a matter of time before he once again emerges. There is a great amount of work to be done if I am to stop Balasar. My powers are weak at the moment, but by working together we will achieve great things. Well, I guess we should find a way out of this cave. That'd be a good start, I think. Very cool. Very, very much a Zelda-esque intro there, which I, I, I really do like. Congratulations, you have now... You now have the power of Gust. Draw a short straight line through Toku and Gust him into the air. Oh, so that's my jump button, is it? Whoosh. Okay. I'll just stay up. I force the limit. What's this thing? Oh, okay. What's this do? Oh, it shakes like anything. No, oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's certainly a thing, I suppose. It almost feels like I'm underwater when he's in the air, like he's swimming. I get that I blow myself across, like the wind takes me there, like, but it seems very much. I don't know, like, he falls far too slow for something. Never mind. Uh oh. Whilst inside a poyak, try gusting it to spit Toko into the air. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well, the mu the music's incredible. There's a few little sound effects that are nice. Oop. Do I take four damage? I'm not sure. What's that thing? Oh. Look at that. It's got to be something about spirits. Oh, there's my hearts. Look at this place. I wonder who built it. It appears to be some kind of shrine. Let's look around. Maybe we can find some answers. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, big button. Read. There is an inscription here. It reads, Our creations answer only to the voice of the wind. Simple. Okay. Did the temple talk to the spirit then or something? Congratulations, Enril's power has now increased. Ah, okay. You can now move Toku and objects higher and further than before. Oh, now I can get that um thing, statue thing. Let's see what it is. Okay. Whoa. One of twenty-four. Okay. I was expecting like some more dialogue, maybe. Just collectibles, I assume. 24 doesn't seem like a lot either. 3, 4, 5. And there's the second one. Okay. You can really go far with this uh, upgrade. Can the fire go even further now? Okay. Okay, it doesn't seem to be any full damage. Oh, be careful, Toku. Those look like glor <laughs> glorbs to me. <laughs> glorbs. I like glorbs. They come from the decay of Balasar. This can't be good. Whatever you do, don't let them stick to you. I'm guessing if they do, I can't fly like wind myself <laughs> wind myself pat myself on the back look at that little sapling the poor th <clears throat> apologies look at that little sapling the poor thing looks rather thirsty to me I bet of the strongest I could splash some water onto it okay Ah, that's clever. I like that. <laughs> I love that noise. That sound effect is brilliant. But I don't know if there is anything over here. There is not. And I made it back. Look at that. That's amazing. Uh oh. It's a globe. Oh, yeah, of course. I was, I was just going to try and jump over it, but... Never mind. I get the fire down here? Nah. Oh, look at that. That's so close. I'm sure I have to get fire down there to get myself through it. Oh, we're back outside. The pretty place. Let's go back inside to the miserable place. Oh, no, I was wrong. Who are you? I was just on my way to Wither Falls, but it seems the bridge here has fallen through. You should probably turn back. There's no way anyone can jump across that gap. You just, you don't know who I am. Oh, I almost blew him across. Whoa, that was amazing. How did you do that? Power of Gust. Is this the beginning? I think it is. Ooh, forgot about him. What's that? Checkpoint, maybe?
Oh, can I go up? Oh, look at this. I'm guessing there's going to be some sort of other upgrade, so I can use fire maybe. Don't even know if I'm going the right way. I don't think so. I think I've kind of jumped the gun a bit over here. Let's go back to that village place. Uh oh, oh, I can step on the tree. Every time I see that tree, I want to play Tomba again. I'm really going to have to try and dig it out and find a way to play it. I wonder if I can go down. And let's not risk it. Can I talk to you? Such a fine day this is. Perfect for a spot of gardening. Hmm. I really do like how everything just like works with the wind. Makes the world seem very much alive. What's this? That. No. I use the wind. Hey, it worked. Am I going to eat this again or am I going to carry it? It's bigger than his head, but I'm going to read it and sit on it. That's strange. Very strange. Oh, okay. I wonder if that's if it only gives me one heart back. Or if it just like, fills up my health. Oh, you look wise. Hello there, young Toku. What a beautiful day this is. I think Dio has been looking for you. I hear he's rather worried. Dio. Let's go find Dio. Are you crying? Oh. Not good. Let's go find Dio. I think I've found something. I found one first. Melodia. Statues will record your progress as you pass by. If Toku dies, he'll return to the last Melodia statue visited. Melodia? Ooh. Something to be a player with melody, like meaning music, so it like records. I don't know. Oh, look at you. Aha, Toku, there you are. Get over here, you little sprout. Of all the. I've been worried rotten about you. Worried rotten about you. Look at your hat and your moustache. Very impressive. Where have you been this time? Honestly, when I promised your mother I'd look after you, I didn't think it would be so hard. Never mind about all that. You are just in time for your first chore of the day. Oh. What? Don't give me that look, Toku. Chores are very important. They teach us order and responsibility. Dio, it's you, my goodness. I thought I would never see you again. This is the spirit talking, right? I need your help, Dio. We must talk to the other spirits. I fear Balasar's power is forming once more. Mm. Yes, dot, dot, dot. Dio, do you not hear me? Now, Toku, can I trust you to travel into town and collect some herbs? That will require from the garden. I'm guessing he can't hear. Um, I've forgotten his name now. Spirit. Make sure to be careful whilst you are gone. There has been many a disturbance of late. Something is very wrong, Toku. Why can Dio not hear me? Maybe we should go to the village and see if anyone there can help. Oh, can I spin this? Oh, wow. Village, uh, village. Here's the village. Oh. At least a part of the village. Oh. 
Wow, what was that? Let's find out. Hey, more children. Come play. You look very worried. And you can't look at all. I like these houses. Very cool. Oh, you got a baby. Just look at this mess. If the rub rumbles keep on, the village will be ruined. It takes like three um, gusts, I suppose is the correct term. Three winds to destroy him. Oh, look at this angry one. Good lord. Can't do anything. Ruined. My beautiful herb shop is ruined. Oh no. Those rumblings have been getting worse ever since those strange creatures started appearing around the village. It wouldn't surprise me if Notia awakened something when he was on one of his expeditions. Notia. Oh dear. If I go up the steps now. However did you get up here? Can you fly or something? Hmm. Well, kind of, but there are steps as well. Oh, this is a proper one. This is going to jump up at me or something. Right. I'm guessing some of them are just decorative then. These ones look like, yeah. You look important. Why, a good day to you, young adventurer. What whim brings you up here? The wind. The wind did. No, wait. Where are my manners? You must think me quite rude. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Notia. We found him. Mistralis, Mistralis's explorer extraordinaire. I have travelled the very length and breadth of this island. From whispering sands to the forgotten jungles. No cavern to cavernous. No river to ravenous. No mountain to mountainous. Ah, I finished his sentence. Look at us. Wow, Toko, he really does go on, doesn't he? Monsters to monstrous. Excuse me. Did you say something? Oh. You can hear me? Of course I can hear you. Wait a moment, you're a spirit. My goodness, this is quite remarkable. A real life spirit. I am truly honoured by your presence. Enriel, that was his name. My name is Enriel, the wind spirit. And this is Toku. Enriel, you say? How interesting. Yeah, just ignore Toku, you know. This region is covered with inscriptions about a lost spirit named Enriel. Really? What do they say? From what I've been able to translate, it seems that after the wind spirit went missing, a race called the Melodias, the checkpoint, him. A race called the Melodias began constructing wondrous things to beckon the wind spirit's return. As, you say this as we're at the foot of a windmill, I think. That's funny. They believed these artifacts would aid restoring her power in a time when she would need it most. Like now. The Melodias themselves since vanished, so nobody knows for sure how these artifacts work. Toku and I blustered across some kind of shrine. Do any of the inscriptions refer to others like it? Why yes. I know of at least one other shrine in this area. I've read all a s I've read of a second but never found it myself. So You've been in this other shrine? Of course. I wouldn't be an explorer extraordinaire if, I, if not, would I? No trail to... Oh, here we go again. It's rather easy to get carried away. What was I saying? Oh, yes. I believe the shrine dedicated to the... meandering wind would be the west of Withers Falls. Here, take this map to help you on your travels. It's always served me well in the past. To the west, you say? That must be close to where I found you sleeping, Toku. Well, Toku, I suppose we should bluster along now. Notia, I thank you. You've been a great help. My pleasure. If there is any way that I can assist you further, do come find me again. Cool. So west it is. 
Click the pause symbol or press escape to open it. Okay. Pause. That's quite a map. This map shows areas of the world you have explored. Areas marked with a question mark symbol are destinations you should try to visit. I move the map now. Highlighting a location on the map will show you its name in the bottom corner. Click the play symbol or play press escape button. Dio's home. The meadows. Okay, so I've got. Is there one in every single area? There's one. In, okay, wow, okay. Got a lot of collectibles then. Yeah, so I need to go left. What about the checkpoint? Well, I think I'm going to leave it here for part one. This was a. Uh, pretty sure this is a solid intro. We kind of know where we're going and what we're doing. Um, it does remind me a lot of a Zelda game. Like it could be a very small, almost a nod to some Zelda games, but I really do enjoy this. It's very it's simple, but it's very pretty. Quite fun. Hopefully the um, gameplay gets a bit more interesting and the enemies get a bit more difficult. Which I'm sure they will since we're still at the start of the game. But, for now, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and see you next time.